Thank you, Cahir. Like, um, I want to lend my support to this motion and I commend my um, Green Party Shani colleagues for bringing it forward um, and the, the programme for government commitment to expand access to free contraception to, to 17 to 25 year olds as a starting point. Um, to me, this is 20 million that would be very well spent. Um, I was at university in Queens, uh, in Belfast, and um, I mean, I'm sure my age now is 20 years ago, but we were entitled to GP access and prescriptions, including contraception. And the hook to us at the time initially was, you know, great free contraception, not living at home. And, um, you know, we were just starting out on being independent. And, and that's initially the initial reaction. But then, of course, we, we totally recognised that it was a social support um, and something that we were really supportive of. Um, but actually, again, it's bigger than that. Um, it, it helped us develop a relationship with healthcare. And it was a, a relationship with healthcare that was mine for the first time at that age, not through my, my family GP or through my parents' pocket. I mean, I, I had a job and everything, but going to, going to the GP is expensive and, uh, and any kind of prescriptions are, are expensive. So it empowered me to take responsibility of my own healthcare. Um, and, and really, it's independent entry-level healthcare. How many 17 to 25 year how often do you have to go to the doctor, most 17 to 25 year olds? Whereas this is a touch point in their life, a really important touch point about their sexual health, about their general health. Um, and it's something that stands the test of time. I know that when I went, no matter what happened to me then, or if I had to, to engage with healthcare, or especially when I was having smears or um, I was having my children. It's something that really just helped. It gave me confidence in how I engaged in the healthcare system. Um, so we talk about the barriers of cost uh, and embarrassment and inconvenience and, and lack of knowledge and local access. And all of things are, are bang on. Um, but breaking down those barriers in general for health is very important as well. Um, it says in, in the report, contraception use in Ireland is high and stable and difficulty accessing contraception is only a challenge at the margins in, over, in the overall population. But then you see the Dublin Well Woman research that found that 51% of women aged 17 to 45 had sex without contraception. And, and that is what we need to focus on. Um, and, and we have to work to that because uh, we need, just very frankly, women need this support. At a universal level, they, they need this support. And we, we have to find ways to help women to be re proactive about their health and not reactive. Um, I want to echo the words of, um, of Senator O'Reilly and uh, Senator Clifford Lee when they talk about contraception and, and choices around contraception. It's not a one-size-fits-all um, approach. There isn't a one-size-fits-all me method. Um, it doesn't just take one visit to the GP and then it's all sorted. This is something that uh, you, you, you have to go back to your GP throughout the duration of your life or you have to, you have to depending, depending on your life stage, um, it's, and maybe your, your initial contraception method won't, won't work for you. It depends on your lifestyle. Um, so it's not an, it's, it, it really does need to be something that we empower women to be able to go and visit their GP, discuss the issues, find the contraception that is absolutely right for them. Um, and so all methods should be available. Um, now I know that uh, the department will, will you'll talk about finalising your approach or legislative proposals and, and ensuring the implementation of service delivery and and all of that. But, but I, think, I think for this, we just need to, to really prioritize it and get on with it. Um, and we have to look at our, our better education. We have to break down the barriers to contraception. We have to continue to break down the barriers, uh, uh, to break down taboos, and we have to deliver uh, basic women's health. Thank you.